What I'm about to show you has never been seen on any other fish keeping YouTubers channel ever. I was hating what I was doing. Because I screwed up, it made me want to quit. I'm getting rid of all of this. What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. It's been a while since we last spoke, but I am happy to be here speaking to you again. It is good to see all your wonderful, beautiful faces. Yes, I'm talking to you. For those of you that do not know, my name is Zach. This is SC Fishkeeping. I appreciate you stopping by. Please hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. Now, in my last video, I was kind of standing in this same spot, but there used to be a fish tank here. And if you didn't see that last video, this is what happened. But this whole seam down there, I just have water pouring out of that. So after that tank broke, I felt like I was kind of in the middle of this long string of just getting kicked while I was down. You must think I'm stupid. Oh, come on. SC Fish Keeping. No. I'll hold it steady. I just honestly, I wasn't having fun with my hobby anymore. I would walk down into my basement and I would just be angry. I would, I would see these fish tanks and I would just get mad at what was going on and I just got burnt out. I didn't want to do it anymore. I kind of explained all this in a community tab post, which I'll, I'll post here. You can pause the video if you want to read more or head over to the community tab post and interact with it that way. But the gist of it is when I started getting mad at my hobby, I realized that I just wasn't having fun with it and it made me want to quit. I wanted to shut every single tank down. I wanted to move on. I wanted to be done with it. And then it sort of hit me that the reason that I was in the situation that I was in where nothing was going my way was, yeah, because I screwed up. I made a lot of big mistakes in my hobby and today's video is essentially I'm going to tell you what I did wrong so that you can avoid it. Now, if you don't already know, I have a lot of tanks and I have a lot of ponds. I mean, look, pond, tank, tank, pond, empty tank, empty tank, empty tank, empty tank, empty tank, 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 uh, four tanks there, two tanks over there, chameleon over there, two tanks down under there. And this is the state of the fish room. Can you tell why I'm not having fun? Feel like feel like I'm about to get beamed up. Anyway, so all those tanks and all those ponds and stuff, that's actually the problem. And I know I've been doing a lot of talking. Give me like 90 more seconds and then I promise I'll show you some fish. We'll feed some stuff and the video will get more fun, but I think it's important for me to talk about this. The problem that I made with my hobby was I thought the best thing that I could do is take every single square inch of space that I had available to me and put a fish tank or a pond there. So I have fish tanks in bathrooms like you saw, I have fish tanks under my desk like you saw, I have ponds in places that I shouldn't have ponds. Like every single square foot that I had and I put a container of water on it and then I had one of these which if you know his backstory, he's doing awesome, by the way. And priorities changed. What I'm about to show you has never been seen on any other fish keeping YouTubers channel ever. It's graphic, it's disgusting, but I think it's important for you to see it so the whole thing kind of makes sense and you can hopefully learn from my mistakes. I have tanks with algae. And I'm not just talking about tanks that have like a tiny bit of algae. I mean, those you can at least kind of see through. I'm talking tanks where it got so bad that when you scrape it off the glass, it sits on the bottom of the tank. I'm talking tanks where you can hardly even see the fish through all of the algae as I'm tripping over stuff. And then I have tanks like this, where the water level's low, it's making water noise, and you can't even tell what's in this freaking tank. And sure, it's kind of fun to scrape some of that algae off and then see your fish for the first time in forever. But let's be honest, that's not why we got into the hobby. So here's my point of all this, the moral of the story, if you will, and why I'm still sitting in front of this nasty tank that I will be cleaning very shortly after turning off this camera. 
For me, I put way too much stuff in my fish room. My hobby got way bigger than what I ever anticipated, and at the time, I loved it. Then I had a son who needed heart surgery, and my priorities changed, and I stopped having the time to dedicate to the fish. I had tanks that got sick, I had fish that died, I had tanks break and algae and all this stuff, and my hobby got to the point where I couldn't even look at it without getting mad at myself for letting it get to the point that it did. So what does that mean for the channel? What does that mean moving forward? And what's my point of telling you all this? We've probably all heard someone say you can never have too many tanks or someone has MTS or whatever the, that saying is. And if there's one thing to take away from this video, it's that you can have too many tanks. I just really want to stress, don't overdo it. You see so many people on YouTube buy like buildings and they just fill them up with all this stuff. But if you're a regular person like I am, that has other responsibilities in your day, don't think that just because you have the space, you have to throw some aquarium there or something. Keep in mind how much work it's gonna take because you never know what's gonna happen in your life that's gonna take you away from all of this. But so what that means for me and the channel is I'm getting rid of all of this. It's all gonna come down. I'm not getting rid of the fish, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my focus from having as many tanks as I possibly can to just having a handful of really nice, really well scaped with a lot of DIY stuff. I wanna do more like builds, stands, filters, chillers, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna do a lot more of that on the channel, but I'm gonna turn all this mess into just really simplified, really easy to follow and easy to maintain tanks so that I can walk down into this space and just love it again. So that's my plan. Hopefully you guys are excited about that. Hopefully you guys wanna kinda of stick around as I, I show that part of the hobby moving forward. And obviously we'll get new fish and, and all that kind of stuff and do feedings, but that's where I'm excited. That's what I'm excited about. That's where SC Fish Keeping is headed. And I'm sure I'm way past that 90 seconds that I promised you, but let me show you one of the first fish that I'm excited to upgrade their enclosure because She's standing right here next to me, and that's Lulu the Fajaca Puffer. Lulu here is an unbelievably cool Fajaca Puffer, and well, she's got more than enough room in this tank, I just wanna get her in something bigger because she's so cool, and I wanna be able to showcase her more and just show off her personality. I mean, she has no fear. She swims right up to me. I'm afraid of getting eaten by her, but, uh, I mean, she eats whatever I put in the tank. You can see the shells from like clams on the half shell back there. And then this is just a, a big meaty chunk of tilapia there and she just goes nuts. I think just really setting up an aquarium that is just built better for her is gonna do her a world of good. So she's gonna be one of the first thing that's moved because I need all this space for something else that we're gonna put there. And so this whole project will be one of the first things that we do is getting her moved and then adding something there. The next fish that I'm excited to uh, really showcase and get into their own place, and I thought about scraping off all the algae so you guys can see it, but I'm like, nah, let them live through my frustration and why they can't see anything. But uh, these fish in here, you can see that guy right there kind of swimming up to the glass, probably even see the colors there because they're really starting to pop. These are my yellow perch and they're putting on some good size. They're in this 55 gallon aquarium, which is still good, but I want to get them in something bigger so that way we can uh, really kind of start to showcase them, add some other fish and make kind of a cool little community here for them. Because as you can tell, there are some uh, voracious feeders. Hoping there's a bullhead in there too. So the yellow perch will be getting an upgrade and really, really showcase their tank for them. So I'm excited about that because I talked in my last video about really wanting to put an emphasis on having native fish because I just don't think there's enough native fish in the hobby and I really wanna become an advocate for uh, keeping native fish because they're awesome. So yellow perch, they'll be moving soon. I don't know if the gulper is gonna eat. Oh yeah, there you go. But I'm literally realizing right now that the uh, filter fell off and so the gulper's uh, filter hasn't been working. So just to really continue that uh, run of issues that I need to fix down here to really get everything going back on track. But the gulper is another one, just an unbelievably awesome fish. The very first fish I ever showed on my channel and I, I want to do something better than have him just sitting on the bottom of this rack of 40 breeders. I mean, I love these tanks, I love this setup but the gulper we can do something a lot better with. And the last thing that's gonna undergo some huge changes is this right here. This is the 1200 gallon pool pond in the garage. And there's only like two fish 
in here anymore. You can see the whiskers right there of the flathead catfish and then my largemouth bass is right there. And that largemouth used to swim right up to me because it was ready for food. And I just don't come in here and you can see the pond is just, it's stained from all that driftwood. And I just think we could do so much better with this. And I have these like those wavefront tanks that I bought from Chicago and we can do something with those if we change this around and stuff. So this is gonna be probably one of the first projects that I change because I really wanna get back to showing off this large mouth because <laughs> Yeah, such a cool fish and deserves better than just being out here all by itself in this garage. So be ready for changes for this guy. We gotta get you fat again, bud. A lot of things changing and it's nice to finally feel like I have a plan for it all again and can be excited about setting these up. Like I said, I wanna keep it simple because I like doing things that you guys at home who classify yourselves as just a regular fish keeper like I do can actually do it. So I want to like convert my trash can filter idea into something like to run tanks and then doing stands and so lots of good things coming. I hope you guys are excited. If you watched this whole video and made it this far, thank you. I freaking love you and that's not an exaggeration. I do and it's good to be back. I hated taking that time off but like I said I just couldn't bring myself to making videos when I was hating what I was doing. Honestly, I mean, that's the, the truth of it is I was hating what I was doing and I didn't want to share it with people until I found the love and excitement again. So we're back. I don't want to promise a certain number of videos a week because then I'll just uh, disappoint everyone all over again. But uh, new video will be coming soon, I think. Let me know what you want me to start with down in the comments. Do you want to start with the 1200 gallon pond and the largemouth, or should we move the Fajaca and uh, get her a whole new setup and stuff and talk about her. So let me know down in the comments what you wanna see first. Um, there's, I need to get someone. I got Adeline and Bree with me. Um, they have been, you guys like watching Daddy's Fish videos? Yeah. What's what's the channel called? Um, um, S Keep Fish Keeping. S Keep Fish Keeping, yep, you nailed it. Um, Daddy's starting to make videos again. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah, do you guys wanna be in more videos? Yeah. All right. So what do we say at the end I of every video? I love videos. Thank you. What do we say at the end of every video? Um, thanks for watching. Bye. bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. And better. Bye. Oh, Wesley's sleeping. <laughs> so we have, we have, um, we have our baby finally came out of mom's tummy. <laughs> our baby did finally come out of mom's tummy, and he is uh, right there. Right there, sleeping. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Yeah, he's so cute. He got he got a heart defect. He had a heart defect, and they fixed it. Uh-huh. And the I doctors love Wesley. fixed it. I love Wesley. He's so cute. <laughs> All right. Oh. Well, I am going to let you guys continue eating your food. Try not to get so much noodles on your face, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, but until the next one, guys, like they said. <laughs> this is my face. Thanks for watching. Hi. Bye. This is my face. <laughs>